When it comes to higher education, it seems everyone in Aggieland is happy, at least if you read the results of a just released survey by the Daily Beast. From overall student experience to the question, would you do it again? AM students rated their school at the top of the pack. So, what exactly goes into making a happy college experience? Well, educational consultant Ibrahim Farat is here with us. On that subject, to talk to us about it, you know, Ibrahim, we were talking when I, when I first heard about this, I thought, come on, you got to tell people how to be happy at college. That's the happiest place on earth. But then I started thinking, you know, when I was a freshman, there were lots of people mm -hmm. who just couldn't handle it and left, and they weren't very happy at all, were they? Absolutely, absolutely. And it, when you look at it, Jeff, it's it's a new stage in your life. It's a new, uh, exciting feature, but at the same time, it is very nerve-wracking. So there are certain things that you can do to make sure you're happy in college and you enjoy your life experience. And what are those things? What do you need to do? Absolutely. Well, for one of the the first things you can do is to make sure that you're academically strong. If you look at that list of top 10 colleges that are happiest colleges in the country, they're all academically extremely rigorous colleges. For instance, University of Texas, which is number nine in the list, uh, if you look at their middle 50% admissions rate, they're 3.6 GPA or above. So that means that if you're a student who, are, who is in that range, that means that you're, you're going to be academically strong, you're going to be academically happy, and you're going to enjoy your life in college. You're not going to flounder with the books That's and the true. studies. And what about the colleges themselves? Do they have a responsibility in this? Or, or the, you know, what's Texas A&M doing to mm -hmm. make its students so Definitely. Happy? So it's the social aspect of it. At the same time, you need to find a balance between social and academic. So, for instance, Texas A&M have traditions, mm -hmm. and, and traditions that go way back, 100 years. So, for instance, one of the first things that the Texas A&M president has said after that list has come out as number one, Texas A&M camaraderie, which means that you're part of a community, which means that you're part of the family of Texas A&M. So that is a proud, proud, proud moment. That is at the, at the same time you need to follow and create those right. traditions. And, and not just that, but I mean, you know, we, we hear about two percenters. That means that 98 percent of the people at Texas A&M are participating in these things. The colleges Absolutely. have to look for those opportunities to get those students involved and to get them to participate. That is true. So what you can do is you, you they actually give you the chance to create your own clubs and organizations on campus. So if you're interested in robotics, and if the college doesn't have it, they will allow you to do it. So go ahead and start one. What about parents? Should they be keeping an eye on this kind of thing too? I mean, you know, should they be calling, not calling? Where's the fine mix there? What do parents play in this? The, the fine mix is that they should recognize that the, these college students are adults now, so they should be making their own choices about what should be done, what they can provide, and what can they enjoy, and really create a life that's happy for themselves. And, and maybe start that process before the kids go off to college. Absolutely. Maybe senior year of high school, dial it back a little bit, that's let them a start making their choices so that they can yes. understand what it means to make choices and make bad choices And make too. bad choices at the same time. Absolutely. All right. Well, very good. Thank you. Appreciate yep. that. Of course, you can find all of this information on our website. If you missed this interview, you want to see it again, go to our website, abc13.com.